So let's first talk about stomach acid. We're gonna go down that list. So stomach acid is needed for breaking down protein. In particular, when you eat meat, especially, or any animal protein, you need an adequate stomach acid to start breaking down that protein. Uh, you also need acid to absorb your minerals. The proper amount of acid will help maintain the bacterial balance, because again, this whole system has evolved to be in uh, a homeostasis that all balances each other. So insufficient acid may keep you from not killing, killing off some of the unhealthy bacteria. And then, importantly, you need stomach acid to stimulate the pancreas to make the enzymes. So stomach acid is a lot of times the first domino in the whole digestive chain. That part of things is what's signaling the rest of the digestive tract, okay, get ready, you're, you're, you need to do your job. This is produced by these cells that are called parietal cells in the lining of the stomach and that actually just take water and split it into a hydrogen ion and what's called a hydroxyl ion. All acid is, for those of you who have no chemistry background, are hydrogen ions, protons. That's what makes acid. And the cells in the lining take the proton of hydrogen, split water, and secrete it into the stomach. That's why some of you may be familiar, we'll be talking about in a minute, that there is a very popular class of medicines called proton pump inhibitors. That's what they're doing. They're inhibiting the secretion of that hydrogen into the stomach. This process requires zinc. So the enzyme that does that splitting of water uh, is a zinc dependent enzyme. So if you are zinc deficient, that enzyme won't work as well. Excess stomach acid is mostly found in significant stress, even though even not so much, or in a uncommon medical condition called Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, uh, which is actually caused by a tumor in the pancreas that makes a hormone <clears throat> that also drives this reaction. 